Some students at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi are about to learn a lot more about the port. The Conrad Blucher Institute reached an agreement this month with an engineering company to introduce students to advanced technology used in the port industry. Brandon Schaff joins us to explain how it works. Brandon. Hey, good evening, Brian. And the Institute at the Island University already works with data that relates to T. Baker's research. And the new agreement will allow both parties to benefit, allowing students to become familiar with the technology related to the port and the company itself to get the people and resources needed to keep up with demand. Putting those two together was an obvious fit for me. Jim Naismith wears two hats, one for T. Baker Smith as Senior Solutions Lead, and another for Tim UCC as the Hydrographic Coastal Surveying Chair at the Institute. His work with both helped make this new agreement between them possible. We want access to students as they're coming through the program because we obviously want to hire them. Uh, we need more people. Everything is growing. And the uh, emphasis on the ports. The agreement began February 1st. Students will now have access to iBlue Harbor, a web-based application created by Naismith three years ago to collect data for water depths. The data is monitored for ports, channels, and private industry. He said it's described as big buttons and crayons, bringing data and tools to decision makers in the industry in a simplified way. It's a simple system to use. It's very powerful in the back end. The calculation uh, ability and things are very powerful, but big buttons. We just want to analyze data and we want to be able to make decisions and then we want to be able to communicate. The technology will be available to the school staff and students and other graduate programs that can use it for research data. He said T. Baker will fund the agreement with $200,000 to start, allowing students to learn how to use it and see if they're interested in working with them full time. Safety and situational awareness. So uh, yeah, they get, the students get access to it so that they can if they're familiar with it before they get out, before they start. Students at the Institute will have an opportunity to work as interns for T. Baker. He said the Institute's work with artificial intelligence will integrate with T. Baker's work on weather and water level forecasting. Having access to iBlue Harbor now is how he said students can get ahead before graduation. These students are way ahead. When they show up, they already know what we do. They know how we work. They know the culture. They know all the pieces on how that goes together. So it, uh, it moves things ahead very, very quickly. Naismith says that the agreement reflects how the industry has changed over time from paper and PDFs to data and decision making now. And he says that it'll help students learn how to be proactive instead of reactive, focusing on forecasting for the ports and how to be prepared for what's coming next. Brian.